No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hey, this is Charles Hayne for No Film School. I'm here at the Boris booth talking with Peter about Boris Continuum at NAB Show 2018. Peter, how's it going? It's going great, thanks. Thank thanks you. By. So what's the new stuff in Continuum? Well, I'm showing some alpha level software here on the booth. So as well as 11, we're showing BCC 12 or Continuum 12. And one of the most exciting features inside of Continuum 12 is a brand new particle system. This particle system is the old particle illusion, which was a 32-bit app, which has been converted into a 64-bit app for memory addressing. And then we brought a brand new UI onto it, which is still in development. In terms of completion, from 0 to 100, we're about 20% there at the moment. This is expected to be delivered in September, October timeframe for IBC 2018. Gotcha. Right. But it's stuff that's going to be out today, and by going 64-bit, you're going to, it's going to be faster, more responsive. How about that? Real-time particles that anybody can produce. Your mom could be making this. Like instantly real-time? Real-time changes, real-time moves. I'm going to switch over into the select mode, and I can grab this emitter and move it in real-time in any size project, because it's all on hardware. It's all like based on the graphics card. So, so this is all GPU-enabled? Fully GPU-enabled, real-time delivery. So. And this is like working at quarter res in After Effects, or? I'm in full res standalone right now on an HD project, but this could be 4K and it would be identical. Full, full speed ahead, that's what we're saying. <laughs> that's huge. And then if you need it right now because the client's over your shoulder, you might bump up to something like Flame. Right. But if you have real time yep. in After Effects or standalone. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And so for instance, if I go in here and I just back off this, this change, I'm going to type in, say, uh, oh, we'll go NAB. So I've got some pre-selected emitters in here. Add in a new emitter. How about that for real-time graphics? I want to add this to the, to the comp. I just choose Add. Click. How many can you stack up before it gets sluggish? Unlimited, actually, because it's just going to compile on, and all the math is concatenated and done at one time. So unlimited uh, emitters, all real time, in any size. Oh, that's, that's it's very, really... It's very exciting, isn't it? That's huge. <laughs> I'm pumped. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. pumped. You can see the UI is still in an, an intermediary state. We're just like building it up piece by piece. And um, right now, we wanted to give everybody, give the world, a glimpse into our development process. So we, we built the engine, we got the engine working to where we want it to be in terms of speed and performance. Now we build the UI around that and, and just add more features over time and make it just a little bit you know, more user friendly. And so this will be coming out fall, September, October. What's the price point? Uh, the price point for Continuum for After Effects uh, is one thousand um, dollars, or nine ninety nine, as we like to say in the industry, right? Um, the show special for NAB this year is fifty as uh, twenty five percent off any individual product. If you bundle all the products together, it's fifty percent off. And people that buy Continuum eleven right now at the announcement will get Continuum twelve for free when it comes out in September, including this brand new state of the art particle system. That's amazing, and it supports After Effects. Any other apps where it'll support? It supports After Effects, uh, Premiere Pro. It supports, uh, let's see, Avid Media Composer, uh, DaVinci Resolve. So you can do this kind of particle work in Resolve and Media Composer. Right. I could actually create something inside of After Effects, save this off as a preset, open it up in uh, Resolve or or Media Composer, and continue to work with it and build it up, pass it back and forth because it's an undestructive uh, process, saving presets. That's huge, and, the, and half off at NAB that will include the upgrade in the fall is great. Thank you so much for taking the time to show it to me, Peter. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate your time. Oh, my pleasure. All right, so you heard it here. No waiting on particle generation in Continuum 12, which is coming out this fall. Very early build, but it's already really exciting to see that many layers stacked up at full res in HD or 4K. So for No Film School, this has been Charles Hayne at NAB Show 2018.